You know how we pulling up. We might not be big, but you can't find no bullets, so don't try to bully us. Fuck around and catch a headshot, red dot. Hit him up. And even with my eyes closed now, see how they don't fuck with us. But fuck it, you know me, you know I'm gonna run it up, plus I'm gonna double all. Oh, oh. I used to be regular now. I swear, nigga, you a dead, dead nigga. You Yo, it is a lot hotter than I anticipated. Ooh. But I had to get on, take a walk to get the car. Why are we uh, walking about? Because you didn't want us to turn back and get the car? No, that's not why we're walking. Oh, why are we walking? Why did we start walking in the first place? So one morning, um, <clears throat> Danny's mom woke up and saw that my car's right front tire was like completely flat. So I had to take it to the mechanic. <laughs> the mechanic was like, yo, you got to, to change all your tires, of course, and all your shocks. So now, that's where you're walking through. Black leather glove, no sequence. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite. Nike crossbody, got a piece. That's the entire thing. We didn't just change the shock, we changed the spring and the mount. Everything's brand new when it comes to when it comes to that. An email address to receive a digital copy of your invoice. So I'm gonna show with two you how to go right for up. Left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically Every time I um, get my, my car done, I like to see how it feels when I get, when I start driving. Mm -hmm. So we're finally in the car. Um, my own boy did a good job for what I know. Because <clears throat> the car feels great and I can finally talk because I'm um, in the car cooling. I was walking, it was real hot and so it was, it was a lot of carrying the camera doing all that but um somebody in the comments asked how i've been dealing with this uh covid covid why do i do that i keep calling it i keep putting an o after the v for some reason and um i've been seeing a lot of stuff on instagram that's the first thing i think about just like a lot of how people are reacting online like, well so what have i been doing it first of all i know i haven't posted in like in like a week or so i really wanted to post a youtube video but I was focusing on the barber system and um, pretty much done. Follow me on Instagram to, to hear the, the launch or keep watching these videos. I'm gonna say it on YouTube. But life is what you make it And then there's more to lose I just remember being quick, I'm like, yo, we played this game I was <laughs> sick, bro matching through that thing I was sick Because it's like stories We legit I was so sick, we le bro. No, we legit I'm glad we ordered like, I ordered these what? Those are the socks you got? These are the socks. Oh, those are the socks. Barber's table socks. Yeah. Hey. Bomba oh, <laughs> They seem so thin. Yeah, those joints seem... They toasted my... Yeah, those <laughs> joints seem like that. something iron, though. That was happy. <laughs> That's why I asked the difference. The thing they use is elite, too. Oh, this no. joint is crazy. Is Everything but a sock. This is, this is Yo, Kevin, Kevin ordered cummerbunds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cumberbund is nasty. Cut off. Yeah, it's these are legit like the groomsmen socks that you oh, get. Oh, like, yeah, like them thin socks. joints that, that you can feel the inside yeah, of your shoe still. Those, <clears throat> oh, okay. What is the play you like, Harris? It's an iPhone. Oh, it's way too small. Oh, wow. What? The no, I, I changed one? I changed the yeah, positioning. I when I made it bigger, it said the digitized thing would be messed up. Oh my. All right, so with everybody inside, I just want to talk to you guys real quick. Just like everybody else, I've been in quarantine for the past how many days now in Jersey. So you guys know, like, shops have been closed since, like, mandated to be closed, like, about two weeks now. I was out the shop for at least, at least a week before they, they made it mandatory. 
literally been in my house this whole time, just been leaving to get like food and coming back, leaving to get food, coming back. The only reason I'm coming to my grandma's house at this point is because she's not doing well, not COVID related. So I just want to see how she's doing, make sure I, you know, check up on her. But yeah, in response to this COVID thing, so how I've been handling it, I've really just been working on like video editing, read different books. I won't lie, like I have been laying around a little bit. The only reason I haven't been uploading any videos is because I've been working on the barber system this whole time, literally in my room, doing different techniques and different things to show you you guys exactly how to structure your haircuts uh, if you guys if you follow me on instagram you'll see like there's a lot of stuff on there that i've been showing periodically trying to really show you guys what's coming next so to me as you guys know in response to my sickness uh anytime i see struggle i look really hard to find opportunity and i think that's what everybody should do i get people are in different situations any hardship any hiccup anything like that is to find the silver lining find the, the positive out of the situation. I've been seeing this post around consistently talking about, you know, write a book, start that YouTube channel or do whatever, whatever, saying do something. And then there's a response to that post, like don't guilt people into doing this, that, and the third or whatever. This is my thing with that, bro. You admit to guilt. I can't give guilt. Guilt is, is it's like an insecurity or, or it's like, like, like self-confidence. Guilt is something that you as a person need to control. So I can't guilt anybody. I, I don't have the ability to place guilt on you. Guilt is something you feel and decide to feel. Now let's look, let's break down these 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 posts. Like so when somebody says write that book, do that YouTube channel, whatever that whatever the post is saying, I forgot. It's these are really just options. Somebody's like, yo, you are in your house. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life's passing you by. You you have to stay home. You're not able to do anything outside of your home. Been all day on the phone anyhow. Why don't you make a phone call that's gonna help you in your future? Here are some things you can do inside your home just reminding you the things that you wanted to do but you allowed your nine to five or you allowed your situation to distract you being able to work on those things now you can do that now you can pour into yourself for somebody to respond to that and say don't guilt me is only to try to distract from the fact that look you don't want to address this this is not something you want to address this is not something you want to look into because i'm not guilty i'm just providing options providing you with something that can improve your life so if you haven't noticed by now that's how i'm looking at it it's a bunch of things i've always wanted to do that i'm making sure that i get them done it's been a ride y'all know i do these youtube videos and it takes me some time to get through them and post i don't post as often as i like so like the first few days i started the, the barber system probably like two weeks ago like it was okay like i did the first recordings editing smooth it was going well and then like i don't know it just started getting real difficult i just i couldn't really understand like what was going on like are these people gonna learn from this it's like it's just a bunch of doubts started going through my head like it, it was like it was it was a really slow process doing this course and it's like something i've never really done before really tried to make a class for somebody to really be able to start and finish and learn and i've always really just done youtube videos and this was just something i just really had to get done so i struggled a little bit and i told myself like yo until you finish this thing you can't you can't post another video that's what that's what my goal was that's what i've been working on i've always wanted to do a course i've always wanted to build on that build and do a bunch there's a bunch of things i want to do so that's just the one thing i did um not cutting hair hasn't really affected me personally until I'm good. I, I got mannequins. I watch videos. I'm, um, I'm taking an online course, reading books, you know, staying busy. Like to me, the, the quarantine is only going to affect you mentally as much as you want it to. There's been days where I laid down more than I was standing up. A few days where I'm in my bed longer than I was up. You know, so I was feeling I had a headache one day. It just didn't really feel like doing something the other day. But like those days don't define you. And I think that's what a lot of people don't get. When somebody is telling you to, you know, get your butt up or start that YouTube channel or, you know, it's literally just encouragement. Nobody is saying that you won't have low days for any successful person to tell you like, yeah, bro, I'm successful because I never, I never did any, I never, never had a hard time. Wouldn't make sense. Like the hard times are just something you have to learn to get through. Don't allow the hard time to stop you at least five times i'm like damn like i probably i probably just shouldn't even do this this course you sure you want to do this like oh you are you really worth it or is it really or can you really get this done and i was like boom i'm good i'm gonna set up my mannequin um i did it like, it's showing my my five-step process of doing a haircut on curly hair on straight hair and really detailing it on a mannequin then i'm showing different tools and techniques that i use frequently that i think would really help somebody and i keep thinking about myself in high school like if i were to watch this video this this course in high school it would literally improve my game from from there to to now like really just close that gap worked on that worked on the clothing line as you guys saw like i really i showed my family the clothing line i looked at my first batch it, this girl. is the oh, nastiest thing ever, bro oh andrew 
Yeah, you I like this? You? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's diabetes and plastic. Just, just really scared. Just really scared to try things. Not sure what people will think about it. What, like, yo, just do it. Just go out and do it. And this video is me talking to you, talking to me, talking to you, talking to me. Yeah, man. So that's that's how that's how I've been. Um, that's how I've been responding to all this. Like, just trying to find ways that I can be better. Trying to find ways that I can help people in different ways, monetarily. Like, just to keep it real, I've stacked money. Like, I'm married. My wife is still working. So she can work remotely. I can't. But I've when I have tips, like cash tips, I don't really spend. I just pile them, pile them, pile them. And really, the my my weekly earnings is really uh not much gets taken from that either. We're um currently living with my wife's mom. Um, and we were waiting to close on a condo closing like next week so that's when expenses are really gonna gonna change the game at the moment but it's nothing that I'm I'm really worried about because to me the way I think about um this barber industry and I, I really got to touch on this some more I don't want to OD talk to you guys but the way I think about this barber industry is I'm not I've never thought of making money one way like I don't want to be attached to cutting hair I don't want it to be to lock me in either so my idea has always been I want to express my value in all the areas that I am valuable so long so long and I don't know where to start I don't know where to start Tell me is she nice? She knows I know. Tell me why you lie.